All right, it's time to work on his face. I want to get that restarted today. Sorry about my hands. There we go. Whoop. The wire came off. The head. Okay. That wasn't cool. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this on my, uh, as soon as I get my camera set up here. I'm going to put this on here, or in two. I gotta double that up. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. My hands are going to be in the way sometimes, and I can't do anything about that. All I can do is the best I can do with what I got. Big as this head. That's a one inch head. Ugh. So you can imagine this is a little tight. Kind of hard to work between the knife, I mean the clay and the uh, camera, but I'll manage. Yeah, this is literally moving microbes of clay around somebody wants Asked me on a video uh, comment what can you do about clay sticking to your tool and uh, kind of like what it's happening in my clay in my tool right now the only thing you can do is just stop and remove the clay it's the nature of the beast
Don't stop recording. I got several ideas for the hat that would go on his head. But I don't know if I'm going to put it on his head or have it on the back of his head. One of them is a bowler style hat. I got the idea from a movie called The Cold Pepper. The Culpepper Cattle Company, which was made back in the 70s. It was a really good movie, except, you know, they tried to do as authentic a cowboy as they could. The only problem was <coughs> <coughs> the uh, saddles were all 1900 saddles and not 1800. And, uh, but that's Hollywood. You can't rely on them totally for anything, especially history. But uh, there was one guy in that movie that wore a bowler hat. And I thought it was kind of cool looking. I thought it might actually look good on this guy, but I got to decide over the weekend whether I'm going to do that or not. Okay, I like the face. I'd continue working on it, but my eyes hurt right now. Because it's putting a lot of strain on these old eyes of mine. And, uh... I like his look right now. I'm going to take a little bit of this Ronsonol and uh, brush it onto the face. To take, uh, kind of clean it up a little bit. And, uh... It'll take an hour or so for it to completely evaporate before I could even work on it anyway, so. All right, it looks a lot better than it did when I started. 
And that's the key. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great weekend. Uh, I'll see you uh, next week sometime. I don't know if I'll be here Monday because I got some stuff I have to do at my uh, storage unit. And uh, I don't know if that's going to bleed over into Monday or not. But uh, I'll let, uh, if you don't see me on Monday, that's what I'm doing. All right, have a great weekend. And uh, for those of you who do play with clay, happy sculpting. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.